everybody eric here with driver lineup and as you saw in the intro there is uh really really neat things afloat um with our group uh for those who don't know or are watching this for the first time my name is eric as i said i drive for prime inc i am a lease operator uh with Pri contracted to carry freight for prime inc um <clears throat> and i am just so blessed and honored to be a part of the prime family it's been absolutely amazing uh, to Jenna and I as we have, you know, really our, our motto is drive to thrive. And that's what we've been doing for the past two years that I've been working for uh, Prime. I apologize for the noises. My dog is outside the door and she's not thrilled that I'm in here doing a video and not spending time with her. <laughs> but uh, anyway, in all seriousness, guys. Uh, it has been an honor and a privilege to drive for Prime and uh, an honor and privilege to be a part of a group of so many hardworking, dedicated uh, Prime drivers, many of whom you saw in the intro. Uh, there's many others who are not listed there that will be soon uh, that are coming, coming on board to be a part of this. Um, but just the camaraderie, you know, the, uh, the, the true authentic friendships that are developing out of this are second to none. I mean, some of the best friends that we've had in our, in our lives are, are other drivers, you know, and so it's just a, been a really incredible ride. Uh, so I don't want to bloviate too much here in this intro video. I just wanted to say that the campaign that's down below this video, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, the link will be in the description below. If you're watching this on GoFundMe, all the details are below. Uh, but we basically, now this was inspired by Lyle from No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. He is uh, an incredibly giving person. I know he doesn't want credit for that, but credit where credit is due. Uh, he is, he's just an amazing person who is constantly in the giving spirit. And uh, just kind of watching some of the things that he's done has made the rest of us think, okay, well, we can do more. We can find ways to say thank you. Um, <clears throat> and at Prime, you know, there's always banners on the walls um, that are thanking drivers. You know, we keep America moving. Uh, we're the backbone of the company. And that's true. Trucks and drivers do keep America moving. We do have the toughest job, I believe. No doubt about that. Um, but I think there's a lot of thankless work that goes on at Prime. Uh, it could be people cleaning showers. It could be our fellow Prime uh, employees in-house shoveling snow, changing oil. You name it. It just goes on and on and on. And they don't always get the recognition that drivers get. And so we decided, you know what? We have a lot of YouTube subscribers. Um, we have a pretty big group of us that can kind of come together and in just our own unique special way say thank you to one of those in-house employees every month um, 
and it doesn't take much. I mean, if we all kind of come together on this, it doesn't take much at all. In our first campaign this month, uh, well, running, it's January now as, the, as of the moment that I'm making this video, but running through February, uh, we're seeking to raise just $250. Now, we want to blow this out. We want to really, really blow it out. <clears throat> and I think we can. I don't see any reason why we can't go well above $250. Um, but what we're doing is we are going to tip a prime in-house employee. Her name is Tammy Reed. She is a depart associate, I believe is her title. You drivers know whenever you make the call to depart your shipper, um, someone answers the phone and they ask you all your details. Tammy's one of those folks. Um, and she is here in Springfield. Uh, she actually is going to let us do an update with her. And I told her, I was like, look, you know, I don't know if we hit the goal. Maybe we hit the goal. Maybe we smashed the goal, but we would like to say thank you from us drivers. She also drove for 13 years and just some health issues uh, really kind of backed her, you know, backed her out of being able to drive. So now she's there kind of working as an in-house employee. So that's going to be our first campaign. <clears throat> the money, honestly, guys, it just, it doesn't come to any of us. Uh, Johnson's Logic, Travis, Kinley, any of us that are involved in organizing this, we never see the money. That's why we chose to use GoFundMe because we can contact the recipients of each month's campaign and make sure that those funds pass directly to that recipient through GoFundMe. The transparency with using GoFundMe was great. Um, if you have questions as far as like who, who would we, who would we select? We don't know. I, you know, I, we're not really sure on how we're going to select. Um, I can assure you it's not going to be friends and favoritism all the time. You know, it's just going to be finding someone who, um, I mean, I, you know, I've tipped someone cleaning shower $20 one time because it was obvious to me that she was under a lot of stress, a lot of pressure and drivers were lined up out the, out the hallway and she was just having a really tough shift. So maybe it's something like that where we just identify, you know, somebody who's just really busting their butt to try and, and make it work for the drivers to try and keep us rolling. Um, so we'll explain how we came to the decision that we came to each month when we select that individual. It's not always going to be someone that wants to have their name associated with a campaign, and that's understandable. Sometimes it may be, and if it is, we'll, we'll uh, you know, we'll mention a name and mention what they do. Sometimes if we contact them and say, hey, we'd like to do this for you next month, and they say, that's great, I'd rather my name not be associated with it, we're going to leave their name off uh, because it's not about trying to shine light on anyone or <clears throat> you know, patting ourselves on the back for helping someone. Um, it, it's just really about, I mean, how cool is it, guys? How cool would it be to just be changing oil you know on trucks all day every day and then you know what at the end of the month drivers come and give you a 300 dollars tip a 400 dollars tip a 500 dollars tip i think it would go a long way to just show that we really as drivers um, sometimes we get caught up in our work and there's a there's so much frustration and chaos that can be involved in the work that we do um, and sometimes I think we overlook the simple, you know, a simple thank you. So I think this is a way uh, that we can really go big with a thank you. Um, so if you could, you know, like I said, it doesn't take much. I mean, $2, $5, $10, $20, any amount you can chip into this campaign. You can leave a comment down below as well. Tell Tammy you appreciate her. Um, and I, I know that she'll probably be watching the campaign too. Uh, we'll, we'll be down there commenting and giving updates. Anything you can do to chip in on this um, would be a huge help. Uh, we're gonna do 20 or 50 bucks, uh, Jen and I. I know Ross of Johnson's Logic has said he's gonna throw down a few bucks. So $250, guys, is really not that much, you know. Uh, I think, like I said, I think we can crush it. So. I really hope that all of you will kind of come to this with us and really prove that we can do this because um, it doesn't take more than 20 or 30 of us throughout an entire month to be able to really go change someone's life uh, with a pretty epic tip. 
and I think that really would say a lot to them. So anyway, I'm out, guys. Thank you so much. Um, definitely check out otrcrew.com. You can get uh, you can sign up to our newsletter there. Each campaign every month will be there, and that's also where we're tracking all the content creators that are part of this. Make sure you subscribe to all their channels. They're listed down below on the actual GoFundMe campaign. Thank you so much. Be safe, make good decisions, and as always, drive to thrive. Talk to you soon.